So there's a fairly well-established procedure for cleaning data. Now, the specifics are going to vary from one situation to another, but the overall process remains the same. Here, we're going to go through this blueprint or procedure, and then immediately following this discussion, we'll look at a concrete example following this blueprint. So the first step is to audit your data. Now, in this step, what you'll be doing is programmatically checking the data using some validation rules you've written, and you'll create a report on the quality of the data. Now, you might also want to run a statistical analysis in order to, for example, check for outliers. Having run your audit, then you use that information to create a data cleaning plan. In our data cleaning plan, we want to identify any causes of the dirty data that we're seeing. Now, this is going to be very situation specific. Then we're going to define a set of operations that will correct our data. Again, situation specific. And finally, what you want to do is run a few tests to make sure that your data cleaning plan is going to do what you need it to do. Next, we're going to execute the plan. Now, just to be clear, this is essentially running a script that will execute that set of operations you defined in the data cleaning plan. Now, it's possible, in fact, it's likely, that we won't have been able to programmatically clean our data entirely. And if it's necessary for you to do so, there may be a manual correction step where you go through or you hire someone to go through and make any changes that need a human eye in order to correct the data. Now, again, this is another process where we have humans involved. So once we've gone through all this, it makes a lot of sense, in my opinion, to iterate on this, possibly more than two iterations, until you have confidence in your data.